Good morning, everybody. So it's been really hot around here lately. We're in the middle of August or creeping up on the middle of August. And I'm actually out here right now. It's kind of cool out. And I really love this time of morning. The birds are chirping. They're starting to come out. And it's cool still. It's There's a little bit of mist going around and I just love this time of day here in this area but uh, I want to I want to answer a question I, lately I've really been getting a lot of the same question coming around from people who have been watching that hydrangea video and they want to know the question basically is do you water your cuttings every single day or every other day or however often or do you just seal the lid of the tote and just leave them in there for the entire five weeks. And I've answered this individually to people for a while now and it's time to just make a video about it. So real quick I want to tell you too much water is a bad thing and I'll just answer the question right now. You don't need to water your cuttings. There he goes. You don't need to water your cuttings every single day. In fact, you don't have to water your cuttings at all. If you just put them in that tote, seal the lid on, you can be done with it for five weeks, six weeks, seven weeks. It doesn't matter. Those cuttings are fine and they're tucked away in there. Now, having said that, I want to tell you, when it comes to plant propagation, I've done a lot of experiments with this over the years, and I really prefer keeping the cuttings not dry, I don't want to give you the wrong impression. I like to keep them a little bit less wet. You, you don't want wet cuttings. You don't want wet uh, rooting medium because it'll just encourage rot. Cuttings really need to be in an airy environment. Uh, basically, you'll when you water those cuttings before you put them in the tote you just want to put a sprinkling of water over them get the leaves moistened make sure that the medium is dampened and then be done with it just let go turn around and walk away and then forget about it because those cuttings will have all of the moisture they need. They need the moisture, but they also need all of the air that goes through the medium particles and allows those plants to breathe. If you go out there and water every day, that water is just gonna build up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That water is just gonna build up and rot those cuttings. Another point to make here is, when you have those cuttings in there, remember, you're you're not watering them as if they're solid plants that have roots on them. Those things are just cuttings and they don't actually have a root system yet that can absorb all of that moisture. So the more moisture you put in there, the more it just turns into stagnant water. Nothing is soaking it up. Nothing is absorbing it. And if you have a lid on that thing and seal that tote, you just keep building up more and more moisture until you've just got a wet, soggy mess. So. You just water your cuttings and then you just leave them sit, seal the lid, leave them sit, don't water them again. I know that sounds crazy, but you don't need to water cuttings. You just need a humid environment. And I'm going to go out and show you a tote right here that we're working on. I'm actually working on a really cool video that I think you guys are going to like. Um, it's a really neat experiment. Uh, I've gotten some questions and things about uh, some you know, rooting mediums and, and different cuttings and things like that. And I finally decided to do an experiment on this once and for all. That's not going to be ready for uh, another month probably. But I want to take you out and show you the tote right now and show you how much humidity is built up in there. And I barely watered this thing. Let's go check it out. All right, guys. So here's the tote. And you'll see in the video when I finally put it out here in another month or so, but when I put those plants down in there, all I did was set them down in the tote. I ran the mist system. Actually, I, I potted up the medium a couple day or a day before, and I put it in there and just ran the, the hose sprinkler over it just a couple times, just back and forth, and then that was it. I let the medium soak up some moisture. The next day, I took the cuttings, and I just ran over it again, back and forth. That was about how fast got some moisture in there, sealed the lid, and we're done. Now, we're about five days after I took those cuttings, and I wanna show you all of the beads of water that are building up on top of this tote. 
there is a plenty of moisture. There is m more moisture than these cuttings need, actually. You do not need to water cuttings ever. You just need a humid environment. And I'm gonna show you that humid environment right here. If you come down to the side of this thing, you can see there is plenty of humidity and moisture built up in that tote. You do not need to have any kind of watering going on when you've got a tote like this. So stop it. Stop watering your cuttings. They don't need the water and you're probably causing more problems and more than likely rot than anything else. So stop watering your cuttings. Water them once. Give them a nice little watering really quickly. When you put them in the tote, it will be more than enough moisture for those cuttings. They'll have plenty of humidity, as you can see. And that humidity will be in that tote for five weeks, six weeks, two months. It doesn't matter. As long as that lid's sealed, that water can't go anywhere. That water just keeps recirculating. You know, the beads form on the top. Some of them drop down. It forms humidity and mist. It floats back up that water just keeps recirculating all the water is for all that the humidity is for in there is to keep that plant from dying it doesn't need water it just needs a way to prevent respiration of losing it needs a way to prevent losing water from the plant through the leaves it doesn't need to actually have an input of water all it's trying to do is just stay turgid and stay alive until it can form roots then and only then once we're done with that part we can pull those cups out when it's got roots and begin watering because now that's the plant's got roots and it can uptake all of that water that you're giving to it so I hope that answers that question about do I water my cuttings or do I leave them alone? I just leave them alone. It makes it so much easier. So I hope you guys got something out of this. If you like this, please like it. Hit the subscribe button if you want to learn more about plant propagation and gardening in general. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.